So in today's video, we are going to be learning how to use Uber application as a passenger. So very quickly, once you have got the application installed, go ahead and have it opened. And if you have signed up with Uber app before you have your account opened up, but then again, you can go ahead and sign up if you have not done that yet. So once you've come here, what you need to do is to go ahead and allow your location or go ahead and allow while using the application because your location is needed so much when it comes to uber application go ahead and click on to allow now this is how the first interface looks you have several things you can be able to do with uber application you can be able to order a ride you can be able to order for reservations that is still got to do with rice or you can be able to order two wheels as well or explore a lot more if you want if you go ahead onto services these are basically things i've talked about earlier you can be able to order a ride or packages as well now moving on to account you have got your account available right here if you click on to wallet you can be able to deposit cash onto your uber application or add your payment method that you can be able to use in order to pay if you do not want to give out cash or if you do not have cash on you when you order your trip now you can be able to do that right here or enter vouchers that can be able to be used also for ordering right or if you have promotion codes you can be able to enter that right here and then start enjoying your promotion you can start a business with uber as well that is with uber travel so if you have a vehicle that you think you can be able to start a personal business with uber you can click right here and then begin that as well so moving on very quickly when you click on to family you are going to be setting up a family profile now with this you need your credit card in order to complete payment so go ahead and continue and then add your credit card if you want to run on this particular family package on uber now the last but not the least at this particular point is the activity so when you go on to activities and then you are going to be shown the past trips that you have engaged in so for example if in case you have forgotten anything in your uber rides you can be able to come back here and then find out the detail of the particular vehicle that you've used or the ride that you've used and then you can be able to recover the details of that particular car or rider and then get back to them where your item can be returned to you now moving on to how you can actually be able to order a ride on uber application is when you come here you go on to write and then what you need to do is your pickup location if you constantly open up the uber app your pickup location will be automatically stated but then if you come here once in a while or sometimes you change a pickup point you will actually be required to manually state the pickup point at some point or as always anytime you come right here so go ahead and then indicate where exactly you are located and if you order a ride where the car is actually coming up to come pick you up so once you successfully reaching in the pickup point as you can clearly see you have the next option which is where to where the car will be taking you to so you have several options which are locations nearby or which are places that you have been to before you can see all those available right here so in case you have any of these spots in mind that you want to go to go ahead and then click on it and wait for a couple of seconds for the direction to be shown to you and the particular vehicle coming to pick you up will also be shown to you you have the choice to select from the number of vehicles that are coming over a default vehicle is what is seen on top you can decide to choose that one or move down where you have uber s with this you have a lot more comfort and then it moves a lot more faster with that the price is relatively very high compared to the normal uber ride now if you move down you have several options as well we have package where the car will actually come you give them a package and then they are going to be delivering that to you now with that you will not necessarily have to sit by the package you just give it to the driver and they will be able to deliver to where exactly you want them to take it to now for example if i click on to any of these rice and then click on to confirm uber confirm and then you have to wait for a couple of seconds the ride is going to be connected to you but then again if you have set up a credit card on your uber account and then you use that to pay when you do not have money on your credit card or in your bank account you will not be able to have your trip completed when you are trying to actually find a ride to your next destination now right after some seconds after you have ordered you are going to be shown the driver that is coming to pick you up 
the direction between you and the driver and how long it's going to take that particular driver to come pick you up. You have the contact of that particular driver also being shown. You can be able to communicate with them and then ask them where exactly they are if they are actually dropping off someone before coming to pick you up so that you can be able to know what to do you will have the choice to cancel your ride now before when you cancel the ride you have a commission deduction that is going to be added to the next ride that you have ordered but now there is no commission added to your next trip when you have cancelled a ride so for instance i am going to cancel this particular ride by clicking on to cancel and you are going to be asked the reason for the cancellation the driver do not get closer and other options are available right here now click on it and you are going to be told that you won't be charged a fee or a cancellation fee when you do so go ahead and click on to yes cancel and the ride is going to be cancelled like i've stated when you order a ride you have the contact of the driver that is coming to pick you up you can be able to communicate with them so i want to try that for you to see i'm ordering the ride again and then the driver is actually going to accept my order so there you have it once the driver has been able to pick up your order go ahead and then scroll down where you have any pickup note you can be able to communicate with the driver right here send that in and they can be able to respond to you you have the name and then the other details of the driver also being shown you can be able to decide to communicate have the number of the car seen and all that so moving on also i'm going to be showing you how you can actually be able to choose between whether you want to pay with cash or pay with your credit card now if you set up your credit card like i've stated before and you do not have money in your bank account you will not be able to complete the order now once you've come here where you've selected the location you want to go to go ahead and click on to payment method or select payment method make sure you put it on personal and then turn on uber cash do not add any of the payment method right here and once you have it like this you can be able to go on to cancel option and then confirm your uber pickup so basically these are the step-by-step -step guide on how you can be able to use uber application as a complete passenger thank you and please subscribe like the video for more of this content in the coming days